फाइंड द करंट थ्रू फोर ओम रेजिस्टेंस शोन इन फिगर यूजिंग सुपर पोजिशन थेरम वी हैव टू फाइंड करंट थ्रू दिस फोर ओम रेजिस्टेंस यूजिंग सुपर पोजिशन थेरम सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट वी विल कंसिडर दिस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल अदर सोर्सेस कंसिडर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल अदर सोर्सेस सो इफ वी टर्न ऑफ दिस सेवन दिस फोर पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स सो दिस विल बी शॉर्ट सर्किट now according to the polarity of this voltage source let's say this is current i prime now we have to find this i prime so i prime is equal to v by r now here we can see this 6 ohm and 12 ohm are in parallel Six ohm parallel with twelve ohm, so this will be six into twelve divided by six plus twelve. Six into twelve divided by six plus twelve. It is four ohm, so we can replace this resistance with single resistor. Of four ohm. Now I prime, I prime is equal to V by R. V is seven point five divided by R. Now here we can see this four ohm is in series with this four ohm, so this will be four plus four. Seven point five divided by eight, so it is zero point nine three seven. Zero point nine Three seven ampere. So I prime is equal to zero point nine three seven ampere, and the direction is the direction for this I prime is rightward. So this will be rightward. Then next we have to. Find I double prime by considering this four point five volt voltage source and turning off all other sources. So consider four point five volt voltage source and turn off all other sources. So if we turn off this seven point five volt voltage source, this will be short circuit. Now, according to the polarity of this voltage source, this will be the total current, and this will be the I double prime. Now, by using current division rule, by using current division rule. I double prime is equal to total current that is I into parallel branch resistance. The parallel resistance to this four ohm is six ohm. So six divided by six plus four. So first we have to find this total current I. Total Here we can see this four ohm is in parallel with six ohm, so four ohm parallel with six ohm. This will be four into six divided by four plus six. Four into six divided by four plus six. 
so it is 2.4 ohm we can replace this we can replace these two resistances with 2.4 ohm resistor 2.4 ohm now we can find current i using ohm's law i is equal to by r v is 4.5 volt and r is 2.4 plus 12 2.4 plus 12 so therefore i is equal to 4.5 divided by 2.4 2.4 plus 12 So it is zero point three one two five, zero point three one two ampere. We have to find I double prime. So I double prime is equal to total current I. Total current I is zero point three one two into six divided by six plus four. So therefore I double prime is equal to Zero point three one two into six divided by six plus four. So it is zero point one eight seven, zero point one eight seven ampere, and the direction for I double prime is leftward. here we can see the direction for i double prime is leftward and the direction for i prime is rightward so the directions are opposite so therefore current through this 4 ohm will be i 4 ohm is equal to we have to subtract higher current minus lower current i double prime is 0.187 And I prime is zero point zero point nine three seven. So I prime minus I double prime. So I prime is again zero point nine three seven zero point nine three seven minus zero point one eight seven. So therefore I four ohm I four ohm is equal to Zero point nine three seven. Zero point nine three seven minus zero point one eight seven. So it is zero point seven five ampere. And the direction will be of I prime because I prime is greater. So it is rightward. what we have to find we have to find current through 4 ohm resistance using superposition theorem so the current through 4 ohm resistance will be 0.5 ampere rightward this is the final answer